Are you feeling and looking around going, what a mess, but I still feel it's okay. Something good's got to be coming out of all of this. Are you looking at the chaos around you and feeling it inside of you and knowing this is a little bit different than just being bummed out? Something bigger is happening and I don't want to miss it. Well, my name's Sonia Choquette. Welcome to my channel. We are talking about the Big Shift Central. I've actually been talking about this shift for almost 50 years. I've written 30 books. I've been talking about this and especially a book that I've written called Soul Lessons and Soul Purpose, where I channeled these beautiful light beings in 2007 called the Emissaries of the Third Ray of Love. They are here along with so many other light beings to help us get through this shift. So what is the shift? It's leaving the third dimension, which is the dimension of ego, isolation, fear, poverty, struggle, depression, anger, hurting everybody, treating everybody as things that attack me. So I'll attack first. You're looking around and you're going, well, that's pretty much what I see, but it's not all to see or what is there. We are purging all of this so that we can elevate to the fifth dimension, which is the dimension of spirit where I feel at peace. I'm connected to my authentic self. I'm connected to the planet. I'm connected to the spirit of others. I'm connected to my spirit support system. I am aligned with who I really am and I am in the flow of my highest self and I am at peace. More exciting when I get to this fifth dimension, which is who I really am, there's no struggle because I also reclaim my superpower of manifestation. I can create whatever I want. You know what else is interesting? When you're in this higher frequency, which we are all being shifted into, what I want changes too. And it gets very simple and very peaceful and very easy and really at ease, so you feel satisfied. What a concept, right? Well, welcome to my channel. We are talking about this, and if you are just here, I think your spirit brought you here. So I'm so excited to have the honor of your presence, and if you're coming back, welcome back. We're so excited to be with you, and if you like what you're experiencing, please consider sticking around because we have so much more about moving into the shift, big shift of consciousness that's going to take us to the fifth dimension of love and connection. So I want to talk to you about this. Have you ever renovated or observed a renovation of a house or a space or even cleared out a closet? You know, there's a moment when you're going through this process of going to a higher condition a better experience. You know, I'm going to clear out the old, but for a little bit, it looks like all hell broke loose. Well, that's kind of where we are right now, both in the planet and quite possibly in you as well. So let's talk about that so it doesn't scare you. And in fact, you learn to observe it correctly. All the things that are up now for us, all that looks like, God, has the earth ever been in a worse condition? A, yes, it has, but B, we have been able very much to ignore it. And until you actually observe and identify a problem, you're not going to actually be able to change it. So we're being made very much aware of what hasn't worked, which is ego-based living. When you're in your ego, it just brings out the worst. It brings out your competition, your insecurity, your fear, your anxiety, your doubt, your imposter syndrome, your suspicion, your sense of I'm not loved, I'm not lovable, I'm lonely, I'm unwanted, I'm starving, I'll never pay my bills, I'm not abundant, nothing's safe. It's pretty bad frequency, isn't it? Well, guess what? It's in your face because it's time to leave it behind. And that is why it's a bit of a messy deal. We don't have to dive into it and be hypnotized by all that. We just need to see enough of it to say, I'm over this. I don't want it anymore. We're at being, being invited to have this huge, just galactic purge and let some things go. 
That's what we do when we clear the closets or empty the garage or clear the car or empty our purse or, or renovate a house. It's like, I don't want this anymore. I'm going to give it back to the universe. I'm going to release myself from this attachment and I'm going to move into some conscious choices of what I do want instead. So how is this playing out in your life? Well, let's ignore the world for a little while because God and the galactic forces of the loving universe are going to take care of that. And let's focus on ourselves because if we can release from ourselves what we don't want anymore in terms of low vibration, then we actually are helping everybody into elevating into a higher loving connected frequency. So the first thing I want you to consider is giving up. This is a giving up. What I want to let go of in the third dimension conversation. The first is the idea that I'm not good enough. Got to give it up. It's just wrong information. God made you. How can you improve upon the beautiful spirit that God breathed into your body? Your ego is giving you bad information and so is other people and so is the mirroring of this crystal. It's like a circus mirrors of confusion saying, not good enough, not good enough. As if you, your, your beautiful spirit isn't anything less than magnificent. So you got to give that up. But how do you give that up? Well, I think the practical way to give that up is to recognize what I, you're talking about. The spirit in you is what you want to start talking about when you refer to I, my spirit, my life force, my, my, the, the energy that makes my heart beat, that lights up my body, that this, the creative force that gives me life. That's magnificent. That's who I am. Anything else is temporary, but I got to love my body because it's the vehicle that I'm working with. And I got to love my, my life because it's the playground I get to play with. And what I want to give up is the idea that I'm a victim of everything. So that's the second thing to give up. Now the ego is like, are you kidding me? Of course I'm the victim of everything. The truth is, your ego kind of is because it has no power. It is a temporary part of you. It is a false self. And it doesn't ever empower you, but it could try to make you a bully. We don't want that either. That doesn't feel any better than being bullied. But your spirit, now your spirit is powerful. So powerful that it has the ability to choose and create by choice. So you want to give up the idea that I have, you know, here's the statement of the victim ego. I have no choice. Of course you do. And even if you didn't get the memo that you did, you're getting it today. You have choices. You always have a choice. So let's start by making the choice that I am a creator. Okay, so maybe you're brand new at creating and maybe you've just created a mess. Well, at least admire. I created a mess. At least it's my good rough draft. Now I'm going to go back and create something better. So I am going to give up the idea that I am my mess. That's just a lousy creation. It happens when you're learning, which is why we are here in the physical body. We are learning to be creators. Okay. It's like when you're learning to paint or play the piano. I remember when I was learning to play the piano, my first attempt at row, row, row your boat and somewhere over the rainbow was a total mess. But I wasn't a mess. My choices weren't so great, but I got better with intention, focus, practice, and desire. So we need intention, focus, practice, and desire to up-level to a higher creation. And I'll talk about that at another time, but I want you to at least decide today, I am a creator and I'm going to love it all, even the mess I created because I created it. So I'm going to let myself off the hook about expecting that the creation should have been better and give myself the choice that I'll go back and do it again. You also want to give up the idea that there's not enough in the world and that you have to suffer 
and be in lack. You know, my teachers taught me, my spirit guides taught me, and my mother taught me. There's no lack of abundance. There's just lack of imagination. You know something else my mom used to say that makes me laugh to this day, even though now she says it from the spirit realm? Our imagination is like a cup that we carry. Some people carry a big cup. Some people carry a little cup. And some people carry a symbol. And life will create from whatever cup you carry. So here's a fun thing to do. Get rid of the thimble imagination that you have and get a big cup. In fact, actually get a big cup as your example and your reminder that I can create whatever my imagination can hold. Which brings us to another thing to give up. What is in my imagination that I'm so confident is correct? Trouble, war, abundance, loneliness, I'm not okay, I'm not attractive, I'm poor, there's no opportunities out there. Those are just really terrible lack of good imagination. So we have to do some imagination sit-ups. You have to really work your imagination. You have to wake it up by imagining good things. My mother used to say every day as I went out the door to school, imagine good things and and expect good things. And I expect to hear about them at the end of the day. So this is a wonderful practice to wake up your power of imagination, which is part of your living as a spirit in the fifth dimension. Expect good things. Think about it. Can you dare imagine that? To expect something good? Now, you know why you don't do that or why a lot of people are uncomfortable because their ego says, oh my God, I might be disappointed. Let's not even go there. So it just shuts down the whole process and puts you back in the victim mode and back because you're afraid to be disappointed. So let's just go for the worst case scenario to begin with. So now you want to pray and ask your guides and higher self in the universe to give you the courage to take some risks, the risk of imagining a good thing. You don't have to imagine a specific thing, but today just imagine that you're going to expect good things today and something really good is going to happen. And then I want you to come back to my channel here and tell me right in the notes what good thing happened today that surprised you. That's a big indication that you're moving to the fifth dimension is you're always expecting good surprises and you're never disappointed and you always are looking for them. You know, the ego, the third dimension, is always looking for the reasons to be miserable. It is parked on pain. It is parked on misery. And you know, a lot of people have written and saying, well, I want to level up, but the person I'm living with is really a bummer. Fair and true. And some relationships may actually need to end. But here's a way to help someone who's stuck in the third dimension to get to the higher frequency with you. Ready? Humor. Humor. Don't make them wrong because they're stuck. Tell them a joke. Make them laugh. Have some fun. Grab them and run and dance around the living room. Tickle them, but you got to be careful with that. That might not be the best idea but tickle their funny bum and tell them, I love your spirit. I love your spirit. I don't necessarily like your poopy diaper attitude, but I love your spirit. And then they'll laugh because laughter is brings in the muses, the spirit guides that help open the heart and let the spirit out. That's another big way to let go of the idea of making other people wrong. If they're struggling, we want to have compassion. And if you're struggling, of course you want to have compassion. But use humor and have some fun. You know, the ego can really go quiet if you're starting to have fun. So what's fun? What's fun for you? Dancing, laughing, music, playing with the dog, playing with your kids, making a cake, making a mess. That's what's fun. So that's another thing you can bring in and let go of the idea that there's no time for fun. So many more things we can let go of, but I would say the big, big, big one. Are you ready? Let go of control. Now I know it's like, oh, but let go of control. The way you do that is you take a breath 
just your body's in tight control. Oh, just just sit back and let that energy come in and say, I want to let God control. I'm going to let the universe control for now, just for this little while. So you don't let go of control overnight, but incrementally in this moment, in this argument, in this fear, in this, in this minute, I'm going to let go of control and take a breath instead. That's how you let go of control in this situation. Let's do it one at a time and take a breath instead. So we're going to get through the mess. We're going to keep purging and eliminating so we make room for the new vibration, the higher self, the shift to happen in us. It's like a massive upgrade. And it's happening for you, so it's a little bit messy. It's okay. Your part is start to choose what I'm going to let go of and then do. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and come back as we are in the shift and you do not want to be left behind. And you don't want to go at it slow because on the other side of the shift, life is wonderful. All my love and all my love for my spirit guides as well. Bye now.